Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. The best street style at London Fashion Week SS24, a particularly warm September, greeted 24 seconds spring summer shows in London this week, and street style navens took full advantage of the mild weather, while many high profile attendees are chauffeured between their shows and invitation only parties. The style peacocks provide a spectacle and photo opportunities on the city streets, to which everyone is invited. So far, London Fashion Week has felt like one big summer garden party. The shows took place next to the Barbican S water fountains, in the flower bed of St. Cyprian S church courtyard, and under the glass dome of the Royal Horticultural Halls. Weavy spotted whimsical one pieces and colorful plaids, but neon green and gratuitous pink are also popular options for those looking to catch the eye of photographers. To keep cool, others in the capital are opting for micro minis paired with collared or stand-up collar shirts. While power walking is inevitable for fashionably late showgoers, they still forego sneakers and shoelaces, opting instead for kitten heels and buckles. The ballerina pump craze, thanks to Miu Miu, isn't he over yet. But as fall approaches, knee-high biker boots and platform mules are joining the mix. On Monday, Burberry unveils its second collection since Central St. Martin's graduate Daniel Lee took the helm. The forecast for the event, more tartan, plus trench coats and, fittingly, only access to rain.news. Foreign Secretary James cleverly has suggested the entertainment industry needs to answer wider questions, after Russell Brand was charged over his behavior which the comedian and actor vehemently denies, Mr. Cleverly told BBC One S Sunday with Laura Kuensberg, I think there are some real challenges where there are these very, very acute power differences, be it in the entertainment industry, be it in politics, and we see that in advertising. Also, the world. I think we need to be particularly careful about listening to the voices of people who are relatively powerless because I,